Hello Internet, today you are going to learn how to communicate your web page to LMS and then package it to Scrum package. So let's get started. Alright, as you can see, I started with a simple web page over here. As you can see, I have several buttons, now it's a paragraph over here. And in order to make a communication between LMS and web page, you need to use the Scrum API. And we don't really need to create our own function to use that API. We just need to find a proper wrapper, in this case with JavaScript file, and then use the function that is provided by that file. So you can find the uh, API wrapper for the Scrum API by downloading the free Scrum core samples online and in this case I got it from biggerbrains.com and if you unpack the package you can find the API wrapper somewhere inside that file. So in this case I found it inside JS and then scrum folder and i get the api wrapper 12.js and we are going to use that file all right so if you open the file you got several codes and functions that are very useful and i want to uh, discuss several of them so first is the lms initialize is basically to begin the communication between lms and your web page and then you also have the lms get value and it is basically you retrieve a value from lms and then you also have the lms set value you set value to the lms and then you have the lms commit to commit the set value before and then commit them together to the lms and then you also have the LMS finish and it is basically close the communication between LMS and your web page. So you need to embed the wrapper to your web page and then call several functions that I mentioned before. So in this case for the LMS get value, we are going to retrieve the student name that is our uh, currently access the course. And then for the set value, we are going to set uh, the score for the student and in this case we are going to set it to 85 so this parameter over here this string is the data model that is provided by the scrum uh, reference guide so you can find the list of the data model by accessing the scrum runtime reference guide online and if you scroll down you have several options to choose from so for example, this uh, CMI core student name is going to retrieve the student name that is currently accessed the uh, course. So you can find different option here. So if you open your web page locally and try to initialize the LMS, the communication to LMS, it is not going to work even though you are connected to internet uh, because basically you need to package your web page to Scrum package and uh, upload it to the LMS. Alright, so in order to package to Scrum package, you need to create XML schema definition file. So basically this file is going to be the first file that LMS is going to find inside your uh, package. And this file holds information and contents that is uh, required by LMS to execute. So we are going to package our web page to Scrum version 1.2, so we are going to go with this one and then you can open the sample manifest and save it to your computer all right so if you open the xml file you get several things so if you go under the organization you got a title of a hair so this title is going to be the title of your scrum course and we are going to rename it as example course and then below it you got an item which has a title also so basically this item is going to be the sub course of your course so you can make a uh, many sub course instead of one so we are going to rename it as sub course one so this sub course has identifier reference to r1 so basically what does it mean it is pointing to this resource over here that has an identifier of r1 so this resource is also pointing to the index.html that is the web page that we are going to display to our course so basically when this sub course is initialized 
then this resource is going to be displayed. So if you have created your XML definition file for your Scrum package, you need to rename it as imsmanifest.xml and then after you done that, you can just zip it to one file. And this file is your Scrum package. Alright, so here I'm using Moodle and you can use any LMS you want. And here I have created the Scrum package course and then I just need to upload my package and then save and display okay so once you enter your course you can see your web page over here and you can begin the communication and then get value which in this case is the student name and then set value and commit that value and you can see we got a score of 85 and then we can finish the communication which you can see we got a check mark of a hair and that's pretty much about this video i hope you learned something new and i will see you next time